Nailed it. Goodbye. Wait, I should have attacked with the, I should have attacked with the rat. It would have been exactly zero. Dang it. I need all the DP I can get. Will there ever be another Yu-Gi-Oh game like Spirit Caller ever again? Have they, I don't know. I don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh games they've been making lately. The last Yu-Gi-Oh game I bought and played was Legacy of the Duelist, which was a neat game. Cyrus again. I'm gonna keep dueling this idiot until he registers me. Let me register you. Please. The thing is, is like, even if they were to make a new Yu-Gi-Oh game that was similar to like how Spirit Caller or the 5Ds DS games are laid out, it's uh, it would only use new age Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, right? Like they would never go back. They'd be like, oh, we, oh no, he drew polymerization. This could be a bit of a problem. Steam gyroid is a threat. Oh, but I have blast sphere and mage power. Never mind, it's no longer a threat. What's my face down? Prevent rat? Oh wait, bottomless trap hole. Remember when I was worried for a second there? I got over it. Dare I make the strongest prevent rat of all time? Nah. Ah, uh, submarine roid. Hey, guess what? You're stuck in attack mode now, idiot. You get what you deserve. Stop drawing submarine roid all the time. Please draw a tribute monster right here. Oh. I wanted to brain control the submarine and kill it. Or tribute it, I mean. Don't you dare. Okay. If that was another submarine roid, I would have lost it. But anyways, yeah, a new Yu-Gi-Oh game would like use all the new age Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. If they ever wanted to go full on nostalgia and be like, let's make a Yu-Gi-Oh game that only uses the deck list of like 2009 and then like make a GX game and see if people will buy it again, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. I feel like that wouldn't make as many sales as they'd want though. I'm gonna scream. He always just draws exclusively summary. I don't think he has three copies of them in his deck. I think he has 15 copies of Gyroid and 15 copies of Submarine Roid. That's how he always consistently draws them at the top. And I hate it. All right, well, I drew a giant sea snake, so that'll help. Go away. I have actually played the, uh, I didn't play them when I was younger, but I did like a year ago. I heard about the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force games and I uh, downloaded the first one and I honestly got kind of bored. It was like really, really slow paced. I didn't like the layout and how it worked, to be honest. Oh, hey, it's a UFO and another submarine. Uh, that won't help me at all. My perfect, no. Thank you for choosing Blast Sphere of all targets. Actually worked out really in my favor. Wild, welcome to stream. I'm doing well, how are you? Is this lowest attack? Yeah, so this'll get submarine. Dead. And then we kill Gyroid and Blast Sphere will handle UFO Roid for us. All right, please do not draw another Gyroid or Submarine Roid. I think you have one of each left in your deck. Please do not draw them. Have you heard of the Monster Rancher games? I think I've heard of it, yeah. Never played them. 
They're pretty old, aren't they? Is Monster Rancher the one that Troy really loves and played a lot? I think my boy Troy might be really into Monster Rancher, I don't remember. If it's the game that Troy was playing, it does not look like my kind of game. Just mage powering up my snack as much as possible right now, don't mind me. Yeah, big 3800, you love to see it. Wrecked. The first tag force sucks when it comes to story stuff because it boils down to sleep most of the time until an event happens. The others are better with you raising your partner's friendship to progress the story, and I think each partner having their own story. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I didn't give it too much of a fair shake, right? Like, I one day I heard about it, and I was like, hey, I'm kind of in the mood for Yu-Gi-Oh! And so I downloaded it, and, uh... played the game for, like, I don't know, like, two hours, and I was like... I was just like, man, this is just taking so long to get through compared to, like, Spirit Caller in the 5Ds games, it feels like. And over, I remember not liking the layout very much compared to the DS games. So I basically, I decided like, ah, I'm just going to go play the 5Ds games again on the DS. See, so, you know, I'm not saying they're bad or anything. I, I didn't play enough of it to have that much of an opinion. I'm just saying that, yes, I did try it and I just ended up not really playing it. Well, that's unfortunate. I should have aimed at the other one. Let's just slap down this cocoon. We drew Dark Magician and Cosmo Queen, so that's pretty pog. Now, if I could just get, like, Mage Power and Fairy Meteor Crush, we'd be off to the races. Imagine Tribute summoning a monster with 1,200 attack. Why is UFO Roid a six-star monster? It makes no sense. I don't understand it. Oh, hey, Zoa's here too. If only I had that one spell card that lets you summon a normal monster. Even if it's five stars or higher. What is it called? It's like Ancient Rules or Ancient Tome or something? It's high defense? No, UFO Roid is 1200, 1200. Its stats suck. But when it's destroyed by battle, it's like a giant rat. It like summons a Vehicroid from the deck, which is not worth a tribute summon in my world. I know I have a bunch of tribute monsters in my hand, but I'm just gonna focus on getting more monsters on the field right now. Ancient rules, that's what it's called, thank you. That card, very good. Thank you for being stupid and immediately summoning Submarine Roid so I can get rid of this thing. I mean, Submarine Roid isn't really a threat this time around because I have a bunch of tribute monsters in my hand, but still. Well, 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 would you look at that? It's another Submarine. Goodbye. Preserving my perfect score right now. So far, so good. I swear, if that's the third Submarine Roid, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. Let's go ahead and get this out here in case this is a submarine roid again. Knowing Cyrus, it probably is submarine roid. No, it's the next worst thing, gyroid. Bum, ba -da -da -bum. Oh, Cyrus, you buffoon. You've left yourself wide open. And I have a bottomless trap hole. It's all over for you. Alright, well. We should, like, guaranteed win on the next turn. I don't see any way we don't. Oh, actually, we win this turn. Never mind. I didn't even attempt to do the math. Yeah, we're doing, like, over 5,000 damage here. Goodbye, Cyrus. In 10 turns, gamer moment. 
I need that last 10 experience on my adhesive explosive, dang it. We've got like three more duels to level 10. That'll give us a thousand DP, which is like six, seven packs. It's like a lot of packs. I think we're about to do the story event. Oh, baby, we are. Solo, you here? Aw, oh, man, are we really gonna go? Of course, let's go. To the abandoned dorm chat. Save up. This is a shadow game, so if we lose, we get hit with a game over. I think this is the second shadow game in the, uh, in the game. The first one was the giant duelist guy. So this is the haunted dorm. Cool. Jaden, I've got a funny feeling about this place. Look, it's Alexis. She went inside. Okay, I'm scared, but let's go in. Cyrus Solo, let's go. Wait, is it too late to change my mind? Now where did Alexis go? Ah! The voice came from over here. I love this track. I have so much nostalgia in this music right here from playing this game so much. Let's go! Who would have thought there'd be a place like this inside the dorm? Over there, it's Alexis! My name is Titan, a shadow duelist. Alexis! Let Alexis go. Haha, <laughs> under one condition. What is it? You must defeat me in a duel. But if you lose, your soul is mine. Who should I take on? How about you? No way, you're facing me. No need to be impatient. You'll get your turn soon enough. Yeah, Jaden, if you want to be the main character, go back to the anime. I'm the main character of this game. Go get him, Solo. Here we go. And it will be a shadow game. Underworld Bark. Do you think it's bark as in like a dog barking? Or is it bark as in like wood? I think it's dog barking, but I could see an argument for both. Shadow game. Okay, Mirror Force and Zoa out the gate and Bottomless Trap Hole. This is a pretty good setup for us, actually. Two tribute monsters is a little worrying. Magician of Faith this early also sucks because we don't even have any spell cards yet. I don't remember what this dude's deck is like other than that it's an Archfiend deck. Oh, Wall of Illusion. That sucks. I love Wall of Illusion. I wish I had that card right now. It's a very good card. Beast King Azura, thank you so much for gifting five tier one subs. Greatly appreciated, man. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you very much. Do I have Mirror Force? Was that one of the things I put down? I do, thank goodness. Mirror Forcing New Doria and Wall of Illusion is amazing for us. That's very lucky. Thank you so much for the gift subs, man. Everyone who got a gift sub, please enjoy your emotes and no ads, etc. Thank you. All right, turn one was looking pretty bad. Turn two, looking a lot better. It's actually turn four, but you get what I mean. My second turn. Oh yeah, DD Assailant, that's getting absolutely trap hold. Get that out of here. I hate the DD cards. I love it when I have them. I hate when my opponent has them. Can I stop drawing all of my tribute summons, please? I need to draw some more like good monsters to be able to la or some traps or spells to make sure my monsters last long enough to be able to do these tribute summons. Man, I wish I had ancient rules. Ancient rules would actually be really good in this deck. Oh, we got lucky and he had nothing. Wow, we actually super lucked out in this duel. He has five cards in his hand, but nothing to play. Sucks to suck, dude. That's, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you, though. Man, if only I hadn't atta uh, attacked that Wall of Illusion, we would have had a perfect win here. I win. Yo, 138 experience, that's so close to level 10. I wish I could have played Adhesive Explosive in this duel. 
Ah, uh, the victory music. Ah, how could I lose? You drew like none of your good cards. This is the power of the spirits? I didn't even use adhesive explosive. Solo, you rock! Yay! Alexis, Alexis! Ugh. Ugh. What happened to me? Whew, you gave us a scare. You guys. Last thing I remember is dozing off. Oh yeah! I learned that this dorm was where my brother went missing. I came to search this place, but I suddenly lost consciousness. Aw, oh, my boy Atticus. You have a brother, Alexis? If we find anything, we'll let you know right away. We'll let you right away. Th that sentence is missing a word. My brain put the word in there even when I read it. Thanks, but the best thing to do right now is to go home. Yeah, let's go home. To home. What? That's the first time I saw a shadow game. That Titan guy lost so bad, his draw was abysmal. Even though I hired the shadow duelist, I didn't think it would become that dangerous. I thought shadow games were a myth. I wanted them expelled, not have their souls taken. Ah, that gives me a brilliant idea. I'll finally expel those slackers. Oh, dude, I totally forgot the next event we get to do is a uh, paradox. Because Crowler, like, says, like, I saw you going into the abandoned dorm, and now you have to beat Paradox or you're expelled. Oh, I can't wait. Beast King Azura, thank you so much for subbing at tier two as well, on top of the gift subs. Thank you so much, man. Words. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. What's the tier two emote? I think it's Pete the Wanyamon. Enjoy your exclusive Pete the Wanyamon emote. Thank you very much, man. All right, well, that was, uh, that was an easy shadow game. <laughs> Those kids almost dying is giving me inspiration. That's Crowler. Oh, they restocked the packs today, right? We need to get a duel real quick to level up and then we uh, buy a bunch of packs. I am a pro gamer, chat, if I do say so myself. Oh, we're going to the story event right now, okay. Ahem, Jaden Yuki, solo. See me in my office after school. Ah, uh, what this time? This is a matter of great importance. Early this morning, I received a message from the Academy Ethics Committee. I don't believe that this school has an ethics committee. I actually do not believe it. You were spotted heading to the abandoned dorm, which is strictly off limits. Therefore, you were trespassing. He knows. Why would you admit to that, you idiot? The punishment for breaking school rules is expulsion. What? We're expelled? You can't. Yeah, look at Jaden's face. You can't do that to him. However, I'm not without a kind heart. I've arranged a special duel. If you win, we can forget any of this ever happened. The duel will be tomorrow after school. I've arranged for two opponents and you'll duel one at a time. Oh, that's right. They hadn't made tag duels yet in this game. In the 5Ds games, you can actually do tag duels with some of the main characters, which is really cool. But they hadn't designed like tag games or tag duels into the gameplay for this one. So instead, Jaden duels one of them and then I duel the other. And I just remembered that we actually have to rely on Jaden's AI to win a duel. No! Your opponent is? Well, you'll find out tomorrow. Good luck. You'll need it. Well, it's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Uh, give me a duel real fast so that I can level up. Yeah, I'll just duel him. That's fine. He'll give me the level up. Maybe I should stop following Chaz. Yeah, maybe you should, loser. My deck is kind of passable. This paradox event is gonna be an actual nightmare depending on if we get lucky or not. And I think I just used up all my luck against Titan. All right, well, I'm just gonna like draw every single trap card in my deck, if that's cool with everyone. I think that every single trap card in my deck goes really well with Magician of Faith, who gives me back spell cards. 